Finally, I'm back. I'm back with this video. Uh, let's say that this was a really requested video and I finally finished it. So I'm happy to announce you that it's ready. And here I will give you as many informations as possible about double tier, why I built it, why it's good, and yeah, I built two tiers, it's not a joke. And runes and masteries, itemization, playstyle, matchups, and a lot of different things. So, I'm gonna keep coming, and welcome to my double tier guide. <laughs> So, first of all, what is double tier? Double tier is a, an itemization of rides that comprehends two tiers. So we build up two tiers, so we just skip the Archangel staff and just rush the Moon Mana since it is really good on rides because of its passive and thanks to double tier later on this damage will be really insane and a cool burst. Uh, squishy people in a really easy way. Uh, I gotta say also that we will still build Archangel Staff since it will give a huge shield after the double tier uh, scaling because it's gonna be really huge because the mana is uh, a huge amount of mana to be used for the Archangel Staff and for the Mura mana in order to go to have as much damage as possible. So, to give an idea of how good to build this, I'm gonna give you a little bit of examples, just to let you know how it works. So, this is a pretty good example of what Double Tier is capable of. Just give a look at my itemization here. I already got the Muramana here and was stacking the Archangel Staff. We have to say that the Archangel Staff is not that important to stack since the the most important part of the double tier kit and ga and the build overall is the Muramana. Look at this for example. I did Q. My Q didn't do that much damage, let's be honest here. But the thing is that that little bit of damage was because of uh, Muramana and plus the AP scaling of spells. Plus, look at this, I do W and a little bit of damage and then EQ. Yeah, and then I auto attacked her. So I proc the Muramana like Q, W, EQ, auto. I proc five times the Muramana in sec one second or two seconds, not sure about it. I will uh, just let you see this again and we will pass, we will go to the next example. And as you can see, I got no assist. I just killed her alone. And then I wanted just to let you see this other one. Yeah, this one. Here I was really fed, let's be honest here. I had 300 CS. I was farming really well. And uh, I was really in a good state. And Talia had no MR while I had two tiers stacked. Just look at the damage. Okay, I did Q here, the minion. So the E bounced over Talia, but the thing is that didn't proc Muda mana because it is not a single target spell, but an AoE spell. But for example, if you use your E on a simple target, you will proc Muda mana. So here we go, I go W, EQ, and she's dead. So before looking to uh, play style, farming, etc., I just want to give you some information about which runes I use and which masteries I use. So first of all, this is my runes. Okay, I go for, let's build that up again. The first thing we're looking to have is magic penetration since we're AP. So sometimes I replace this even with precision that is lethality plus magic penetration. But this is not that much worth it since uh, uh, early on you're going to have 
less uh, magic penetration. And then I go for armor against AD uh, champions such as Zed or Talon. Why I go for health against uh, Velkas or stuff like that. For moment, since I just use uh, one page for everyone most of the time, um, I just build up armor nearly ever. And then for glyphs, we're going to have some magic resist. Four magic resist because this is the page against everyone, plus some cooldown reduction here. So as you can see, we have 10% cooldown reduction. This guy says 9.7, but it's actually 10%. Plus one AP quint. This quintessence is customizable since the most important part is that you're going to have two uh, scale and cooldown reduction quints in order to reach 20% cooldown reduction at level 18. Plus, I always go for ability power here, but you can replace it with attack speed. It's also uh, a, 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 not a joke. You can replace it to farm early on or just to uh, attack while combos in a really faster way. I really recommend you test it. Okay, so there are the, uh, these are the runes while for masteries these are my masteries most of the time so the first thing to talk about my masteries is that i go for 12 18 i don't use the resolve tree since it's not that that good on rise since we already got not that much damage and if we go for that it means that we have we will we are going to have no points in ferocity that is a really bad thing on rise so the first thing we have to do is tw uh, 18 points on cunning so we have the savagery because we need some way to scale up into the late game and to farm those minions. And then here uh, is like a uh, secret stash or assassin. Most of the time I go for secret stash in order to have a safer early game, especially in the mid lane against like Corky or something. Sometimes even Xerath against Xerath or even assassins since they can burst you up if you don't have that much HP. So I just go for secret stash most of the times. While in the top lane, I just go for assassin most of the time. Here comes the beautiful part because I just go for meditation, five points into meditation because we we need that much mana, and they even nerf this merciless. And they yeah I know they nerfed meditation too, but I think that meditation is worth it because that much mana regen is good for more mana passive to proc so. I really like it so but sometimes you can even add some points in there so if you want if you feel comfortable you just have to to try since uh, I have to say that rise is an extremely complex champion and you can play it in a lot of ways and play styles that's the thing and I'm explaining to you guys my play styles so the next thing is dangerous game 100% under this game is really good and then here i go for intelligence since spam yeah i know the double uh, penetration here is good but early on since the e nerf i really like to go for intelligence i really feel more comfortable with it and if you if you're experiencing rise i just advise you to try precision but when you get more comfortable with it, you just go for intelligence since you can spam more combos in a more in a better way overall with intelligence. You can proc shields more and more. While for the final uh, the keystone, obviously some really search for some extra mobility for your combo and some unexpected uh, movement speed. While as I said, I go for ferocity. I go for increase the damage of course and here I go for fresh blood against melees or that champions that don't have that much sustain while I go for this against for example against safe opponents ranged for example Zix Xerath just to build up a presence in lane and to build up the HP in order to contest them in a trade uh, while I go for natural talent, but I put one point in this. I saw that Dopa does that. I think that is really good. Maybe it's gonna give a little bit of sustaining lane, and that's why we need. Then for the uh, here, we're gonna get bottle trends hundred percent. This is not worth. You can, I mean, you can take it, but I don't feel comfortable with it since uh, it's gonna be a really 
you're going to take more damage. You will deal more damage, of course, yeah, but I just feel more comfortable with Battle Trance since you just build up, you just continuously uh, add your shields to your HP and then you can, you have the sustain of Roa, etc. So Battle Trance is the best thing here. Okay guys, this was the first part of Double Tier Guide since this video is already 10 minutes long and I think that a longer video could be really ineffective since it is already too much long at the moment. Hey guys, the video is over, I hope you liked it and if you have any advices or questions I will be glad to answer you guys in the comments, no problem. And if you like this type of video, let me know so I can keep them coming. We will see you in the next episode and now the outro will destroy your ears.